Good evening, all Nata aspirants. We are back with our fast track revision series for August attempt, and I know that Nata result for July attempt is also out. So many of you must be expecting this session. Uh, that is session on uh, questions on physics, right? So there were uh, questions in last two attempts. from in nata papers and there were exactly seven questions in each section and these questions were quite uh, related to uh, related to applications right and specifically to be very specific uh, they were uh, somewhere related to design the, uh, and considerations so when we will be seeing questions i'll also be letting you know how uh, we should focus uh, on uh, our preparation for the third attempt what can we expect in fact we will have another session tomorrow at the same time for expected questions today we will be solving questions from last two attempts last two papers of nata so let us start with uh, the session hello harish uh, good evening to you so let's see uh, from the questions from the june paper first so the very first question in the june paper was if the unit of length mass and time each be doubled the unit of force is increased by so here this is from class 11th chapter 1 units and measurements so you must be familiar with units and measurements so the we are asked about change in unit of force so formula for force is mass into acceleration right and this acceleration uh, mass is represented in m with the help of m acceleration is length per unit of time square so i can write the dimensional formula for force as m l t raised to the power minus 2 and now it is suggest it is suggesting that if length of mass time uh, and length mass and time each be doubled so this was original f1 for f2 i will have m as 2 times the m i'll have l as 2 times the l and i'll have t as 2 times the t square So if I simplify it, that will give me four times m l upon four times t square. That is nothing but equals to m l t raised to the power minus two. So there is no change in the unit of force. So correct answer will be option D. And if you want it to be in written format, see here. Here is the solution. Whatever I have explained is written here. if you want you can take screenshot of the same or you can roll back the video to see the question and now the answer so the input here is we should focus on units and measurements chapter from class 11th let's see the next question universal time is based on universal time what is universal time if you know this concept you can easily identify the answer right so rotation of the earth on its axis that is time of a day this is time of one day earth orbital motion around the sun this is time of one year this is nothing but atomic clock atomic clock when we define one second so that one second is defined with the help of cesium atom clock and a quartz crystal so quartz clock ya quartz crystal clock quartz crystal clock is used in laboratories where the fre resonating frequency of quartz crystal is known and that is used in laboratory to get higher results so here the universal time is considered 
with reference of rotation of earth on its axis and the details are as displayed on your screen so universal time is the solar time standard that reflects average speed of earth's rotation so though it is solar time but uh, it has been standardized with the rotation of earth on its axis right so i have already so mentioned earth rotation of earth around the sun or orbital rotation of earth around the sun cesium clock we have discussed and quartz clock right so this is with again time uh, it is with related to chapter 1 units and measurements so measurement of time is an important part of chapter 11 uh, 11th class chapter 1 units and measurements right so answer here will be option a so let's see the next question now which of the following is not the name of a physical quantity so various physical quantities are also part of units and measurements units and measurements again chapter 1 class 11 so kilogram is measurement unit of a physical quantity called mass impulse is a physical quantity that represents change in momentum energy is capacity to do certain work and density is mass per unit volume so all these three are physical quantities but kilogram is not a physical quantity the physical quantity is mass not the kilogram so answer should be option a which of the following is not the name of a physical quantity so kilogram is not the name of a physical quantity kilogram is a unit of measurement of physical quantity called mass impulse in uh, physics is defined as or to def, uh, quantify the effect of force uh, over momentum so change in momentum is what we call impulse a large amount of for force acting for very short duration is called impulse energy as we have discussed it is the capacity to do work and density is mass upon volume next psychometric scaling is referred to this is a uh, specifically used when it is uh, when it comes to design a house right windows for thermal comfort is the answer here psychometric scaling kya hota hai isko lekar quickly ek bar dekh lijiye yahan par hamare paas humne maine in sari cheezon ko aapke liye compile kiya hai so the psychometric chart or psychometric uh, scaling shows temperature versus humidity so this scaling is used to determine thermal comfort so when we are designing these for design strategies and energy requirements psychometric charts or psychometric scaling is useful right subjective weighting other options are also mentioned here so that if any question or comes possible outcome of one of these terms so we must be familiar with these terms so this is uh, this you will find in uh, chapter number 9 that is thermal thermodynamics right so thermodynamics not exactly chapter number 9 but thermodynamics i am sure about so chapter number can be 11 or 12 as well but uh, so the chapter is a thermodynamics right next next is absorption of sound in porous material is due to so whenever you will see a sound proof room is designed the material used in that sound proof room uh, for making that room sound proof is porous in nature because whenever that material is porous in nature so that porous material reduces the speed of movement of the sound right 
so that basically works as friction uh, that creates frictional losses for the sound so answer here should be frictional loss right so answer to this one was friction loss why frictional loss that we have discussed in fact you can uh, go through these terms frictional loss and creep loss vacuum in the pores is not at all uh, possible uh, as porous material uh, so it must uh, if there was vacuum so uh, vacuum can uh, cannot create uh, or cannot uh, create a frictional loss in the sound waves right so for creating a frictional loss to in uh, traveling the sound waves vacuum in the pores is not required so and creep loss is related with material creep is also called uh, cold flow you can go through this slide and understand what is creep loss let's see the next question the ratio of light that reflects compared to total sunlight that falls on it is called albedo albedo so all these terms are explained here on next slide so you can go through all those uh, definitions thermal reflectance diffusivity emissivity so this is thermal reflectance time domain thermal reflector uh, measuring thermal continuity of thin films so thin films ke uh, thermal conductivity measurements ke liye hum thermal reflectance use karte hain right then diffusivity is rate of diffusion okay emissivity is rate of, uh, of a body at a given temperature is the ratio of total emissive power to the of a body to the total emissive power of perfectly black body at that temperature this is again related with thermodynamics only albedo is a fraction of light that is reflected by a body or surface it is commonly used in astronomy to describe reflective properties of planets satellites asteroids etc so please learn and understand these definitions clearly so so that if any question like this occurs in august attempt you are ready or you are equipped to answer it correctly let's move to the next one what is reciprocal of air to air resistance it is called u value resistance ka opposite air to air resistance is u value conductance capacitance can be eliminated conductance electricity ke case mein use ho raha hota hai when uh, material or metal is supporting the flow of electricity that is conductance capacitance is capacity uh, of absorbing the electric charge and r value is related with resistance so on that basis i can eliminate these three and mark my answer as u value this could have been done uh, and here is the definition of each one that u value conductance capacitance and r value so these were the seven questions that were asked in june attempt that is nata paper 1 june 2022 right now let's go through the question that were asked in july attempt whose result is out today so let's see where these questions were from the commonly used safety fuse wire is made of which of the following materials copper lead nickel and alloy of tin and lead so copper can be eliminated right because कॉपर से हमारे जो नॉर्मल इलेक्ट्रिसिटी वायर्स होते हैं वो डिजाइन होते हैं तो डेफिनेटली कॉपर से हम फ्यूज वायर नहीं डिजाइन करेंगे वाई सो बिकॉज वी नीड वी यूज फ्यूज एज अ सेफ्टी सेफ्टी मैकेनिज्म यूज वेन एवर देर इज अ सर्ज इन सप्लाई द फ्यूज वायर गेट्स मेल्टेड एंड द सर्किट बिकम्स ओपन सो दैट द entire uh, supply in the house or in the building uh, can be uh, can be prevented or the equipments gadgets can be prevented 
by this uh, by the surge that occurred due to increase in the supply of the current right so we need a material that has relatively low melting point than the copper wires uh, that are generally used or the iron wires right so lead wires copper wires lead wires uh, lead uh, is also not like relatively low having low melting point alloy of tin and lead are frequently used here because out of the four they are relatively low melting points so uh, generally when you go for uh, copper and nickel you can eliminate because these are used to design uh, electric cables right so the supply cables are designed with copper and nickel so that can be eliminated lead is also having higher melting point so alloy of tin and lead is having relatively lower melting point that's why alloy and alloy of the nickel and lead nickel and tin is used as a fuse wire material see as we have discussed fuse is a essential component in a is a metal wire or a strip that melts when too much current flows through it thereby stopping or interrupting the current it is sacrificial device sacrificial device right as i have suggested if uh, fuse gets uh, blown away thus all the equipments in the building or the house can be prevented from the uh, additional from burning or from the uh, increased current supply right so let's see the next one when you float back on water what is your weight so here is here comes the principle of uh, buoyancy uh, principle provided by archimedes so according to archimedes principle of buoyancy a body or an object can float on water when it displaces the amount of water equal to its weight right uh, so it is not asking that you are swimming it is asking you are floating on your back back on water so would the amount of water displayed by your body is equal to the weight of your body so net weight of your body will be zero in that condition right so amount of because weight is nothing but mass into gravity right so whatever the force exerted uh, whatever the force applied by gravity to pull your body downward the same force is applied by the amount of water that is displayed by your body so net effect is nullified and your body floats on the surface of the water right so this is uh, from class 9 uh, the earlier question from class 10th so class 10th and class 9 next see archimedes principle states that upward bound buoyant force that is exerted on a body immersed in a fluid whether fully or partially is equal to the weight of the fluid that the body displaces hence net weight is zero next a wound watch spring has so wound watch spring contains potential energy because it is wound so when it is unwound it that entire energy gets converted into kinetic energy mechanical energy and electric energy can directly be eliminated because in general energy is either in the form of kinetic energy when the object is in motion or if object is in rest the energy is in the form of potential energy again this is from class 9th science the spring does not possess kinetic energy until it is released and it starts to move as i mentioned motion in body creates kinetic energy and static body has potential energy let's see the next question this is again from units and measurements class 11 chapter 1 unitless quantity unitless quantity will have no dimensions right so 
from does not exist can be eliminated may have non zero dimension no if it has certain dimensions then it will have certain unit unitless means no dimensions always has non zero not at all may have to hum eliminate kare to always to we should always eliminate never has non zero dimension yes non zero never so that makes my answer as has always zero dimensions answer to this one should be option c right next water is placed inside the four containers each container has a hole near the bottom if you see approximately all the uh, all the container have holes exactly like almost at the same height from the bottom so the amount of water is, is highest in b so the net speed of the water that is coming out of the all these four containers will be highest in case of b because the more is the water the more is the force exerted uh, or the pressure exerted on uh, the water that is going out so here the answer should be d so a had there been different positions we would have to consider if this outlet pipe had different positions but that won't be the question when uh, it is so right so let's see uh, this is from class 11 fluid mechanics so in the given situation concept of pressure comes into the picture as we have discussed pressure is force per unit area so force exerted on the area as area uh, the size of the containers are also the same so that all depends on the quantity of uh, water in the containers next it is a numeric answer type question you did not have the options to choose from but can be done uh, see here you need to calculate work done by a force in lifting a weight of mass 2 kg to a height of 10 meters right so work done is force into displacement and force is given to you height is given to you so to uh, displace up to this height the force work done should be force into displacement that is the height so answer would be 300 joules it is mentioned that you need to provide the answer in joules so work done is force into displacement and force is in newtons and displacement is in meters so newton meter is equal to joules unit of energy and unit of work done are same next find the maximum velocity for the overturn of a car moving on a circular track of radius 100 meters coefficient of friction this is from circular motion class 11th circular motion class 11 right this one was from class 9 because in class 9 you have seen how do we determine the work done that is force into displacement so here the solution will be uh, the centrifugal force mv square upon r should be equal to f into mg or mu into mg where mu is coefficient of friction you are given with the value of coefficient of friction and the centrifugal force is mv square upon r so this velocity critical velocity we need to determine the maximum velocity we need to determine right r radius is given to us m uh, gets cancelled from this two sides so v square is equals to mu into g that is if you want we can calculate mv square upon r is equals to mu mg m and m gets cancelled v square is equals to mu g r so this should be mu g r right so v is equals to under root mu g r so v is equal to mu is 0.2 g is 9.8 meter per second square and r is 100 so overall this is 2 by 10 into 98 by 10 into 100 so this 100 gets cancelled 
so this is under root 196 which is 14 so the speed will be 14 meters per second this should be the answer so if we compare the two relatively july attempt was easier than the june attempt so expecting uh, on the same pattern August in August attempt we can we should focus more on class 9th and 10th basic concepts right and that will help us uh, answer the questions with better accuracy in our August attempt exam that is that is to be held on 7th of August right so thank you guys thank you for tuning in uh, do follow us uh, on uh, Instagram and subscribe our youtube channel for the more updates we'll bring many more topics for this nata preparation as well as if you are looking for other architecture and design entrance preparation then too you can click get the study material by clicking on the description links given in the description box so thank you guys thank you for tuning in